Hello, welcome to day 92 of our Daily Dose. We are going to continue today with the scene from Euripides' Bacchae between King Pentheus and the god Dionysus. And are your rituals performed by night or day? Night, mostly. Darkness adds a greater solemnity. Hmm. And is for women the best time for debauchery? I think you'll find you can be debauched by daylight too. You'll pay for your blasphemies and your slippery tongue. And you for your short-sightedness and disrespect to Bacchus. Ooh, the priest's got a temper on him. <laughs> He's quite manly when it comes to words. So what would you do to me? Torture me? How? First, I'm going to cut off your lovely long curls. My hair is sacred. It belongs to Dionysus. I'm going to have you locked up. <laughs> the god himself will set me free. I only have to ask. Without your women, you've no power. Your god won't come for you. But he's here now. He sees how I'm being treated. Where is he then? It's not at all obvious to me. He's here where I am. Your own ungodliness is blinding you. Oh, take him away. He's no respect for me or Thebes. I'm warning you, don't touch me. I have the knowledge you do not. But I have the power. <gasps> you don't know what you're saying. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know who you are. I am Pentheus, son of Echion, by Agave, my mother. Pain, Pentheus, pain. A man of sorrow, and your name means pain. Take him away. Lock him in the stables, in the darkness. Dance your dances there. As for those women who've been part of this debauchery, I'll either auction them as slaves or keep them for myself to work for me. They'll put their hands to good use then. No more drums and tambourines for them. Let's go then. Nothing will be that will not be. But know this, though you deny him, Dionysus will exact his vengeance on you for your arrogance and your ungodliness. In doing wrong by me, you would constrain a god. There you have it, nearly out of time. I hope you enjoyed that. See you again tomorrow. Bye.